When we got to Scotland, we had about two, three weeks of boot camp. Here we go. To sort of teach them how to fight, how to use these kinds of weapons, and, and also how to ride horses. They have the purpose of genuinely training you in the things that you need to be trained in, but it also has the purpose of bonding you as a group. I was the last Highlander to be cast, so you oh. guys had already been in a few weeks. They all had these massive beards oh. as well. I turned up with this pathetic little beard, and I'm standing around all these big, beady guys. Yeah, hey, Rupert. There's something to wrap your hands around other than your todger. <laughs> it should feel like they feel very comfortable in this time. We did the garlic, and we did the horse riding. Um, a little bit of fighting. A little bit of fighting. The philosophy that we've taken with our stunt work is that we wanted the fights to feel more out of control and sort of like guys that are really in a, in a desperate struggle. Most of the fight training we've done is about is, is the brawls. <laughs> the kind of vicious, nasty, ear-biting, bollock-kicking <laughs> kind of fights yeah. that we've been doing so far. I like the more out of control guys smashing into things and, and hitting people with whatever they can put their hands on. Without getting chewed up for sale. Sheep. Call it sheep. We worked on a style of fighting for Jamie. It's quite a martial arts style. An action. Jenny! It's not the sort of traditional broadsword heavy singular blows you would see in, in a lot of movies. It was a lot more. Uh, a lot more flowing, a lot more spinning. The different skills that we were learning in boot camp presented different challenges for different people. Like, I wasn't as keen on the horse riding because I'm a top-heavy guy. I'm more likely to fall off a horse, I think, than anybody else. And I don't really have a bond with animals, and particularly horses. I would rather just get a bus. <laughs> I've really enjoyed all the riding, and I get quite, uh, quite excited when I see a scene where we've got to get to ride, and. I will not allow any of my stunt guys to, to do any work. And so far, they haven't. Oh, God, he's high, isn't he? Yes. They all came to it with different levels of experience. Some had been around horses all their lives. Some had never gotten on a horse. It's all the ones mine. You've got Alfie. Alfie. Yeah. Come on, I'm going to have a look, yeah. I didn't have a lot of time. We started shooting three weeks after I landed here. So there was... Um, <laughs> You know, emergency horse riding lessons <laughs> that happened. Whoa, 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 whoa. Emergency perming. So you, don't, you don't see my perm that I got? Oh my gosh, it looks great. I'd ridden before. I'd done quite a lot of sword stuff in the past. So that was, that was all familiar. The big new departure for me was, was Gaelic. Here, Gadalaban Hoor, Nam Bruaderen. What I did initially was to teach everybody the Gaelic uh, numbers one to ten because contained uh, within the numbers um, are, are a, a great amount of sounds that you don't find at all within English. So you were actually literally having to not only retrain people's ears and their minds, but actually their throats as well. You know, they may well be familiar with the sound ah, but were they familiar with the sound ga? Um, they might be familiar with the sound aw, oh, but were they familiar with the sound och? Right, okay, why don't we, uh, why don't we pop that up on the board, that line? Yo, a chalach show. But the most important thing for me is um, authentic pronunciation, you know, is to sound like this language is their first language. They've been brought up uh, speaking it at their mother's knee. They're kind of open to throwing ad-libs in Gaelic. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of always in Adam's ear to say, look, can you give us a word for this? Or I'm always looking to throw it in. Mm -hmm. I got kicked in the nuts in one episode. And I said, what would you say, you know, if you were kicked in the nuts in Gaelic? He said, Av, you know, there was Av McLachans. You know, the Gaelic has been a challenge. I think it's like going to school for them. Um, so I don't know how they felt about the Gaelic lessons, but um, they've all been wonderful. How is my cock? It at first sounded a lot like Goldie Gooker can understand a word of it. It's uh, not like French or German or any other foreign language where you can look at it and say how it looks. You have to learn the sounds to it. It went fantastically well with Sam. 
The man just has a very live brain. He's an extremely capable guy. Um, he's also extraordinarily professional and dedicated to getting it right. And His pronunciation is almost native. I kind of felt like the most important part of it. We were saying at the time was it was about us just spending time with each other and get to know each other. You know, have that kind of chemistry and sort of be comfortable enough with each other that it looks like we're the kind of guys who have been on the road with each other for years. Cheers, thank you very much. Thank sir. you, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Ha, ha, ha.